Welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be talking about administration of suppository medication and today we have a Jamaica nurse here nurse Kelly Bradford all right and she'll be walking us through the station with um you know her experience because she did this um station and she was successful as well and she'll just give us some advice and yeah so let me hand this over to nurse Kelly Guys, hi guys! Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. I told you mm -hmm. I did the assessment. And one of the stations that I did was the bubble assessment as well as the suppository. Right. So, in suppository station, I I was given a scenario. Right. So I had to read the scenario on the paper. It said that they already checked the identity of the patient, checked mm -hmm. for allergies, and all that. So, you know, giving a suppository, it's just like medication administration. Yeah. So, through my five rights, mm -hmm. right, and the prescription was valid. So, you just need to follow the guidelines that you get in this book, right? Mm -hmm. And what are the things I did for each station? Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, go through the book, it's a lot of things to memorize and say. Yeah. So, what I did go through and make a little summary of how I would say it in actual to the patient, yeah. right? Introduced myself, got their information, did the checking of the medication because, as I said, it's medication that you're administering. Yeah. So you know the right. Mm -hmm. You don't your gloves, your gloves. Mm -hmm. Sorry, your apron. So, um, the buttocks. It's hard because it's not a real person, right? It's a mannequin that you get. So yeah. I did have issue with that, but my invigilator was very nice. She told me before yeah. that it was. But honestly, I didn't expect it to be that difficult. Mm -hmm. But I try and I got it in. But of course, as I said, mm -hmm. you have to explain the four centimeter because that is something that they want to look out. You have to explain to the patient mm -hmm. to try and hold 20 minutes mm -hmm. and ensure that you provide the commo there, mm -hmm. ensure that the patient will be there. Tell them that you will assist them to the bathroom mm -hmm. if necessary. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah. they have to all of that in the time frame that mm -hmm. you get right i also got the bowel assessment to do mm -hmm. that's the brush tool chart yeah right um during the course that we did mm -hmm. they told us that you have seven stool type right so you have the one to the seven um they told us that we will never get three to five mm -hmm on the chart so you're either going to get one two or six and seven mm -hmm. so in your mind what one look like just know what two look like just know what six look like and seven looks like mm -hmm. that was it for and you'll get this chart here so in class you would have learned how to do this so trust me when yeah. you see this on the exam as a station you're gonna laugh about it because <laughs> you say yeah i know this yeah what is yeah <laughs> I personally didn't have a in a examiner that tried to intimidate me. Yeah. Some story, but even if you end up with an invigilator examiner yeah. like that, pay them no mind because at the end of the day you already practice already. Yeah. You already read you already. Mm -hmm. You know the information. Just relax. Yeah. Going there and do your best. Which is good. Okay. Yeah. So, um, is there any advice you'd like to give somebody who is planning to come to the UK that could help them to settle a bit easier? Well, be open-minded, yeah. right? Oh, daddy, tell me before we come here, mm -hmm. is a next country and a heaven. So everything up here is perfect. Mm -hmm. Come with a go. Yeah. You're not home with friends and your family, right? Mm -hmm. For me personally, Church has been my backbone because when I came here initially, yeah, it was, well, me alone for a while, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So, for that, have, have a good church family if church is something that you love, yeah. you'll have one friends, but anyways, a new environment. So, you just try mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. feel around. I go to places where Jamaicans are, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. Mm -hmm. Zugum, mm -hmm. and the 
I try to get out the house as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Go to the top the garden, go mm -hmm. to London. Mm -hmm. um, also ask questions because there are a lot of discounts, mm -hmm. opportunities where you can get. But it's not like Jamaica where everybody has to say, oh, free next time you over here. So, uh, you know, you can get discount. Mm -hmm. Ask questions yeah. and read. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for sharing your experience with this station. And I hope this um, video helped at least one person. I mean, like, that's why we're here, you know. So guys, continue to like and share this video. And if there's anyone who is watching this who is also an international nurse who wants to share their experience, you can send me an email and I'll definitely reach out. And yeah, so thank you so much, Kelly Bradford, to come on here and you know, explain, <laughs> you know, explain it. <laughs> you know, so explain yourself and um, yeah, you want to look at the off me know it go. So yeah, thank you so much, thank you so much. All right, so until then, guys, see you in the next video. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs>